I've been doing this for a while, and I've seen fatal traffic collisions. So um, I will say that it's very fortunate that Mr. Woods um, was able to uh, come out of this alive. Unfortunately, Mr. Woods was not able to stand under his own power. Um, our partners at LA County Fire were able to uh, extricate him from the vehicle, and they put him onto a backboard. Uh, when I arrived on the scene, uh, Mr. Woods was uh, seated in the driver's seat. Um, I made contact with him, and I ensured that he was able to speak to me. Um, at that time, he seemed that as, as though he was still calm and lucid. Um, I made the determination that it would be safer to wait for LA County Fire to help remove him instead of trying to remove him myself. Um, I, I kept Mr. Woods calm until uh, LA County Fire arrived on scene. I asked him what his name was. Um, he told me his name was Tiger, and at that moment I immediately recognized him. Um, I asked him if he knew where he was, um, what time of day, just to make sure he was oriented. Um, he seemed as though he was lucid and, uh, and calm. He didn't seem concerned of his injuries at the time, um, which is not uncommon in traffic collisions. Many times people tend to be in shock. Um, it's a traumatic experience. So it's not uncommon for people to be focused on unimportant things, or even if they are in pain, they might not feel it until much later. Uh, the interior passenger compartment of the vehicle was intact. Um, the airbags did deploy successfully. Um, again, he was wearing his seatbelt. Um, I, I think this, uh, this also kind of speaks to the, uh, the marvel of modern automobiles in that they're much safer than they've ever been previously. Hey, ma'am, do we have an uh, ETA for fire? We have a rollover with someone uh, trapped. People go real fast going downhill on this on this street. It it's, happens all the time, and uh, you got to be careful because sometimes people pull out, and uh, it's, uh, it's it can be treacherous sometimes. Couldn't believe it, no. As if you know, he hasn't his body hasn't endured enough. So um, I don't know all the facts. I just know he was in an accident and, and he underwent surgery or he's in the hospital or something like that. So uh, you know, just just hoping is as out of this bad situation is the best possible outcome and you know hope he can recover from it and uh, we can see him on the golf course as early as possible. I saw the condition of his car and for me it was just you would just hope that he's okay you know that's the biggest reaction really um, a little a little bit of shock you know it's something crazy happened to our sports world last year with with Kobe so you know I wouldn't say that dramatic of uh, feelings but man you just you, you just hope Tiger's all right you know and we all know he's a strong cookie physically mentally so if he's if someone's going to get through this he will